Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Old School RuneScape. We're still hanging out here in Lumbridge, last episode. Uh, we did a little bit of cooking, a little bit of goblin slaying, just to get some combat XP. To start off the day, we're going to come back up here to the, uh, the sheep bar. I'm going to try and get in it. We started a quest by going to the wizard's tower. That involves trying to get some beads from these little ips. So we're just going to try and snag these any chance we can. Oh, and yes, they teleport. They are quite maddening. But luckily they never go too far. Do it again. Don't do it again. Stop. <laughs> and yeah, that's about what we figured. Most of the times they drop nothing of value unless you get a bead. Anyway, back to the uh, the sheep farm. Yeah, turn run back on. Let's get there. Oh, you know what I need to do while I'm right here? We need to go see the general store person. Hey, uh, you just got a goblin chilling in your store. I guess relations are good now. I want to buy myself a pair of shears. Love this song. Stop. Uh, open the gate. This is Fred the Farmer. Says, what are you doing on my land? You're not the one who keeps leaving all my crates open and letting out all my sheep, are you? I'm looking for a quest. You're after a quest, you say? Actually, I could do with a bit of help. My sheep were getting mighty woolly. It'd be... I'd be much obliged if you could shear them. And while you're at it, spend the wool for me too. Bring me 20 balls of wool. <laughs> Watch out for the thing. What do you mean, the thing? Well, no, no one has ever seen the thing. That's why we call it the thing. Because we don't know what it is. Some say it's a black-hearted shapeshifter. Hunger for... Hungering for the souls of hard work, decent folk like me. Others say it's just a sheep. Well, I don't have all day to stand around here and gossip. Are you going to shear my sheep or what? Yes, we will start the sheep shearing quest. Yes, and then he tells you to spin the wool. You do that at the Lumbridge Castle. This cat, I swear, only likes me when I'm recording. Oop, let's, uh, before we start sharing a sheep, let's get this imp that's right here. Don't you run from me. Don't you run from me. When I get to level 5 for my attack stat, I may go and start switching to strength. So to start hitting these guys a little harder. Oh, 
Ah, oh, we got a red deed. No way. Now see, if you look at this, it says the value is just two gold, right? But when you examine it, look at how much that goes for the key. 1,692. We can get 1k, almost 2k gold. Just by farming these beads for other players. And that right there is why we are doing a free-to-play Iron Man. You can do a free-to-play, and it, you can still take quite a few shortcuts like this right here, instead of having to spend your time trying to hunt down these imps and collect the beads that are pretty rare drops. You just go to the Grand Exchange and say, oh, nope, I need this. Ooh, do not get the ram. The rams will attack you, which not like they're bad to be. It's just we're here to trim some sheep. <laughs> but yes, you can just buy the beads instead of just spending your time. Ooh, there they are. Yep. Penguins dressed as a sheep. Why they're there? I don't know. They've just always been. And always will be. You know what? I don't think... I have enough inventory space now for my 20 balls of wool. Anyway, to finish a thought, you can buy the bees instead of just going through the quest like normal. And choosing to, uh... Attack all the imps that you see. Just buy them. And then the quest is done in no time. I can't say that I haven't done that before. But I find just getting them myself to be uh, more enjoyable. <laughs> nope, not the ram. Nope, not the ram either. See, this is what's great. It's like, how many games out there just have you going to cheer sheep? You wouldn't expect that to be anything you would ever have to do or want to do. When you start doing it, it's actually not bad. Quite relaxing. I feel like we're doing something here. Then after we trim all these sheep, we're going to go and we're going to spin some wool. That's 20, 20 balls of wool. Now to the castle. When we get to the castle, we're going to go to the, uh, it doesn't matter which staircase, we're just going to go to the second level, and that's where we'll find it. I believe it's closer to the left side over here. spinning. Click on the wall, click on the spinning wheel, and we're going to click all. I believe this gets us, yes, our first crafting experience, so I may actually come back and do this for a while, because crafting isn't something I ever worked on, hardly. I'm not really 100% sure what they're good for, either. See, so there's some weapons you can make. Stabs. Oh, it's an armor. Oh, this is how you can make armor for like, uh, for ranged armors. That's really cool. I've never done that. Apparently, those are a lot of the later ones are members only, but you can make some leather bodies. You can probably do that with some cow hides too. Well, that'll be fun to try, because I don't think I've ever done anything with cow hides, short of uh, leaving them there. <laughs> I get cows for the uh, for the beef and the bones. But definitely tried 
definitely down to try new things here. We got all of our wool. 20 wool and still not level up. And I don't know how else to train crafting, honestly. Again, not something I've ever worked on. I know you can use crafting to cut gemstones that you'll find. You'll find like uncut emeralds and sapphires and rubies and depending on your crafting level you can get a chisel to uh, cut them. And I believe they're used for enchantments. Well, I hope everyone is having a good day today. It is Sunday currently, where I am. Rather cold, but it's a pretty day outside. Just doing some things around the house. One of those nice, leisurely Sundays you would always want to have before starting another long work week. If you can hear that, that is the sound of one of my cats that found a Nerf dart from my son. <laughs> Ooh, Fred, Fred, I've seen the thing. You you actually saw it? Run for the hills, Black Waltz 10. Grab as many chickens as you can. We have to. Fred. Whoa, whoa, the shapeshifter is coming. We're all Fred. Doomed, what? It's not a shapeshifter or any kind of monster. Well, then what is it, boy? Well, it's just two penguins. Penguins disguised as sheep. Have you been to some for too long? <laughs> Alright, talk to you about sharing the sheep. Some give them here, that's the last of them. Guess I better pay you then. This is 60 coins. Oh, and there's gonna be our crafting level up. Alright. Okay. Level 3, and then you already get to. Remember, nothing that helps you. you know, what's going to be good for this? We can make some nets, a fruit basket. I don't know why we want to make those things. See, I used to flax a lot of those strings back in the day, but that was, again, when I was a member. Apparently, you can do some pottery. Oh, you can make some things with uh, glass, apparently, surely. The vials is probably a really good crafting item to make. People making potions and everything. So those might go for a good cost on the GE. But that's something I can take a part in. So we're going to find some way to make crafting valuable as an Iron Man. So until that time, what do I want to do? Uh, X marks the spot. I wanted to start this. The Sheared Ram Pub. That'll be down here. X marks the spot should be a clue kind of quest. So uh, in RuneScape, there are these things called clue scrolls that you'll find, and they all have various range of difficulties. So you follow the clues until you find the spot, dig it up, Speaking of dig, I'm going to grab me a shovel real quick. <laughs> Light bulb. And then you uh, should get some valuable sort of items. Buy one, uh, buy one spade. Love when my voice cracks. Buy one spade. <laughs> Yeesh. Thirty plus years old, and still get the uh, the voice to crack. <laughs> Always at the most unexpected times, too. Go get him! He's right there.
level five, you can do steel weaponry. Oh, and a red feed. Are you serious? This isn't even worth it to me. How am I going to get two red beads this close together? Just... Ah, that's maddening. Oh, and here's a man over here. This is a woodcutting tutor. And on his back, you will see that is a skill cape. A trim skill cape at that, I believe. Uh, trimming a skill cape is just something you can do when you get multiple skill like your first one. So you get another one. But yeah, those are those are the skill capes. That's just how you show off uh, what you've done. Up to Dios. Hello there. I'm looking for a quest. Hmm. Well, now that you mention it, I could use some help. Your name is Dios. I'm a treasure hunter from the wondrous kingdom of Great Kurin. Great Gulrin? Where's that? Across the sea to the far east. It's truly a magnificent place. Interesting. So, what brings you to Lumbridge? I'm here on a bit of a hunt. The hunt for treasure. Back in my home of Great Gulrin, I came across a scroll. I believe it will lead me to something of great value. Also, I have a bit of... I've hit a bit of a blocker. The scroll has led me here, but I don't really know the area. I'm not sure what to do next. Maybe you can help with this. And we are going to start the quest. Take the scroll. It should lead you to the treasure I seek. Once you've found it, meet me at the ship. It's docked at the northmost pier in Port Sarum. Give him the scroll. Anything else I should know? Not really. Thank you, Gios. And so, Port Sarum, where we're going to be looking. If you click the globe, this opens up your world map. So, to the west of us, we have Drainer Village. And right next to that is Port Sarum. And that's where we'll be going. So it's good about taking a low-level quest and showing you or directing you towards new areas. So, slowly kind of branching you out in a way, getting you a little bit comfortable with leaving one town and going to the next. Kind of makes me think of, since we just met Veos, makes me think of Gandalf, just, you know, he didn't disturb me. He just gave me a little nudge-nudge out the door. <laughs> and this is where it all starts. Pretty soon we'll be fighting dragons like Bilbo Baggins in no time. Oh, I forgot all about this. That's a highwayman, and I'm really not used to being at a low level and having to worry about these guys, but as you can see, you can outrun them, even when you are not running. Until I stop to look at time. Just so you know, if you open your map, stop running. You stop whatever you're doing, and your character actually opens the map. Other characters can see you opening Back to state. Then the town of Lumbridge he walks out of his door. Why did I come to Port Sarum? What am I doing here? What does this tell me to do? I get stuck. Hey, I did he tell me to... I read Port Sarum. Why did he tell me to come here? <clears throat> well, we came here to kill this ship. That's what we're doing. This is why we came here. So now we gotta go find a man named... Oh! And another reason why we came here. is to show you guys... See these holes? Just right here? This is for agility. Agility skills gives you ways to traverse horses a little differently than most people. Fast. So if your agility is at a certain level, sure I'll go ahead and take your hammer. You can use this tunnel. And you can just crawl under. Let's see, you have to become a member to do this. 
it's so <laughs> agility should be for everyone agility training is fun too you always just go to little strongholds or courses like there's a gnome stronghold there's an agility course here in Alcaraz somewhere over here there's a what's called a stronghold somewhere and that's been just an agility course super fun too I wish I wish we could uh, we could do that we'll experience it too. and now right now we're walking through Draenor village I don't think there's anything I want to do here yet I don't think so and just north of us we have oh never mind north of us is the manor we're at Port Serum. North of us was Falador here. Sorry about the uh, sudden, the sudden zooming in and out. <laughs> Apparently, it's very sensitive on a phone. If you hear that, that is another one of my cats. I'm torn as to why this man had me walk here. Maybe I'm just supposed to come to Port Serum after I do this thing with Bob here. Alright, running's at 30%, so yeah, let's go ahead and start running across from here. Now we gotta find whoever this Bob character is. I think I remember, but not 100%. Cat, go away. <laughs> I like Bob is one of these two buildings here. Is either this one? Nope. It'll be the next one over. I don't think there's anyone in that other building. It's a man. Oh, talk to Bob. Give me a quest. Get your own. <laughs> like Bob. Okay, now let's read this. He walks out of his door, takes one step east, seven steps north, five steps west, and one step south. Okay, easy there. <laughs> Alright, he steps out of his door. He takes one step to the east. One. Was that two steps? One. One step. One step east. <laughs> oh, cat, go away. <laughs> I will love you later, kitty. Seven steps north. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Five steps to the west. One, two, three, four. steps the guys a treasure scroll X is behind the Lumbridge castle so if you need to see that let's just zoom out from here yeah you can tell that looks exactly like the Lumbridge castle so zoom in
Feels like it's about right in here, huh? Sometimes you gotta step away a little further to get where you want to be at. Step back. Get in there. Got a mysterious orb. The orb is cold. Oh, Jesus, that's what it's going to do? Hmm. So, what do we do with that? to get a little bit further away but to do anything. Oops, there used to be it's warmer. So we keep going west here. Ooh, it's warmer. Are we going? Maybe now we have to go to Port Sarah? Hmm. Maybe the orb is hot. Maybe we don't have to go so far. Sit there. Oh, jeez, oh, these guys are strong. Go away, go away. These are like jailers. No, keep running, keep running, keep walking. Eat a shrimp. Jeez. Same temperature as last time. Why didn't you just step there last time? It was incredibly hot. Ooh. All right. So, if you are playing along, just as you see here, you can see about right at the spot we were at. Pretty sure it's about the same. It's the same every time, right? Sure, they don't just change this. Oh, and Jesus, what does that mean? It's one of those, uh, I forget what you call those things. <laughs> but you know what I'm going to tell you guys? I had this pulled up. I didn't know we were walking towards Drainer, but as we were walking this way, I was pulling it up on another phone of mine. And now I know what this is saying. It is saying to go towards the Drainer Pig Pen. Which I'm not 100% which one is the Drainer Pig Pen. Is it further up? Is it to the right? Here's this Drainer Pig Pen. I do not see a pick pit. Never mind, just found it. Is it inside the pig pen? Please don't attack the pig. I don't want to do that. Go, go, go. 
You dig up an ancient casket. As you do, you hear a faint whispering. You can't make out what it says, though. I just open it. Oh, I don't think Veos would want me to open his treasure. I should take it to him. He's dogged in the northernmost part here of Port Sarum. So I guess that's where I got Port Sarum on the brain. I'm a little spiteful towards these things. <laughs> After this, we'll close out the quest. That would be my timer, that is 30 minutes. Thirty minutes out of many, 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 many half hour cycles of escape. And I mean many. <laughs> Some bronze bolts, why not? Oh, a bronze bolt. A one bronze bolt. No thank you, we're going to drop that. Alright, I believe it said he is at the northern pier. Oh, right there. There he is. Oh. Hunting going. I found it. Hand it over. Brilliant. This is just what I was looking for. Thank you so much for your help. No problem. What's in this treasure anyway? Oh, er, nothing important. Just something that might be of use back in Great Cool End. If you say so. Anyway, as I promised, here's your reward. Ooh, we got a beginner food scroll, a lamp, and 200 coins. Not bad. And to end it, I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all a lamp. To see what it does to open the field here. All the ones you don't have are printed out. So, what I want to put in, I'm gonna do like what I did with all my prayer. 300 prayer XP because our prayer level was level. No, that wasn't level 3. How'd that work? Okay. <laughs> well, it's level 4 now. And now we can do a burst of strength prayer. Apparently prayer to your combat level. While we're here, I think... Oh, I leveled up my prayer, so my prayer is gone. But... I thought we were going to pray at an altar. Well, okay. That is, two more quests down, knocked out within a half hour time frame of each other, so really not bad, especially getting sidetracked by some imps. Still can't delete this whole uh, two red bead thing. <laughs> oh man. Well, alright. It's been fun, everybody. Hope you all enjoyed. Bye bye. <laughs>